After Sega made Sonic Heroes for the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube, somebody at Sega thought, hey, let's look at all the games that are doing better than us, you know, like Knights of the Old Republic, Ratchet and Clank, Halo, you know, better games. Then all of a sudden they thought, hey, let's come up with a game which features Shadow and has guns and stuff. Well, what do you know? They even reused the old engine, but they came up with this. And this game is horrible. Shadow the Hedgehog, this game has so many issues. The graphics are terrible. The gameplay is suckish. So are the guns in the vehicles. And the worst part is that this game tried so many new things, but utterly failed on all of them. So how bad is this game? Let's start off by looking at the packaging. Shadow, a hedgehog, holding a gun. And keep in mind, he's trying too hard to be cool in a franchise where blue hedgehogs and enemies trying to take over the world that look like giant eggs... That is in the same franchise as this. Not a good mixture. So, let's dive into this, shall we? And one more thing. Thought I'd give a quick shout-out to Wild Heart 2. Thanks for letting me borrow these crappy Sonic games. I really appreciate it, because now I can play these garbage games for reviews. The first thing you'll notice when booting up the game is a cool intro featuring Shadow trying to be badass. It is quite possibly the best part of the game. Why? Because there's no talking, and the CGI is kind of well done. This is probably where all the budget of the game went into, too. I mean, seriously, just look at it. It makes this game look so much better than it actually was. Sure, the song's kind of cheesy, but it kind of goes well with the explosions and shit. You'll like this part. The rest of the game, though, however, does not live up to the intro. In honesty, I think more of the money should have gone to quality control and not the intro. When you start a game in Shadow the Hedgehog, you can either pick Story or Select Mode. Both are the exact same. But Story lets you play through the stages unlock more, while Select Mode lets you play the ones you've already unlocked and beaten. You probably want to find a save file with them all unlocked, however. And Library lets you see all the 300 different ending combinations. Of course, you don't want to do them because the game is so broken once you find out. So, the plot of it is that you're a hedgehog named Shadow, the only thing I can after think. falling from Adventure 2, image. you only have one thing left in your mind, your name, and a memory of Maria getting shot. And... Maria. That's all she ever knows though. And there's no exclamation until later on, who is depending on which plot you play. Everyone also talks like this with their side. And now, the Covenant rip-off aliens invade Earth. They send off their generic elite clones and other stuff. Oh, that looks like a hunter. You know, those annoying things you can't kill in Halo. How pathetic they are. I don't have time for And then, the leader, who's obviously a rip-off of, you know, all those... Covenant leaders who are like, I am the Covenant. Those humans are stupid. We need to destroy the universe by acting all seven Halo. Such a ripoff. And then after you see that, you get thrust into the city. And then. The crap fest starts. Is to get those chaos emeralds. The plot's kind of cheesy, but the whole game is designed around it and replaying it. Kind of a dumb idea. Then you see the thing that tells you which stages you've unlocked, and then it loads, 
And this takes forever. I actually thought my PS3 was having issues, and I almost pressed the PlayStation button to reset it. But, it finally loaded after like 15-20 seconds. Then the corny music starts, and the slowdown starts too. As you start the very first level, the game starts to slow down. This mostly happens in the PS2 version, and also somewhat in the Xbox version due to the fact that Sonic Team can't properly program a game. But, while you run and the game lags, you find out that there are a bunch of enemies, and that there are two bars. The gameplay is pretty much the same as Sonic Heroes, except with two differences. There are two sides, and there are weapons. The controls are horrible. You will find yourself skating all around the place. And you'll find yourself using the guns only because the homie attack gets you killed all the time. It's cheap, homes on everything, even if you're trying to be on one side, like humans for example. The guns are horrible too. The aiming system is non-existent. This game takes the, the fun out of a shooter game. Imagine playing a shooter game that made every game look boring. So while there's a lot of slowdown, there's also several missions you can pick. You want a problem? It's hard to pick them sometimes. You, you just want everyone to shut up. One side tells you how to get the good objective and the other tells you how to get the other objective. Don't the problem, they're both annoying, so you'll just want to turn them off. What the heck is HQ doing? While this slows down, you'll also find out that either way, you're always going to get killed by enemies. If you jump, press, square to shoot, you'll find out that the weapons don't even work that well. But not only that, but their ammo is extremely limited. Every weapon has ammo. Even the alien weapons, like the swords. I didn't know swords had ammo. There are also three objectives in a level, usually. Sometimes there's two. Either you can be normal, which keeps you in the line you're going. All you gotta do is beat the mission. And then there's dark and hero missions which are exactly the same as Chaotix missions and are pretty much do X, kill X enemies or all the enemies in the level and that stuff. For this first run I'm going to try to do all the missions normal because those are extremely easy and they also aren't as cheap. After you fill up one meter you will unlock either Chaos Blast or Chaos Control. Chaos Control shoots you through the level. You do not want to do it if you're on a side though, because you might miss the objective. They, they also constantly switch the side you're on, like one minute you're supposed to be doing the... you want to do the dark side, then next thing you know some hero guy comes in and says, Hey dude, kill Alex! And all you gotta do is... Well... The weapon switch controls are also bad too. Half the time, it doesn't even switch right. And you can only hold one weapon at once. The weapons are kinda useless however since you're still gonna get killed. But then again, so a spin dash, cause spin dash gets you killed too. In fact, doing anything in this game gets you killed cause it's so cheap. And so broken. Whenever he cheat, whenever he dies in a cheap death like that, he always says that. And that is also how you feel once you play this game too. You'll be saying that a lot too, once the cheap camera, the cheap, con the crappy controls keep killing you. In other words, this game sucks already, but let's try playing more. After another extremely long load screen, we get another bad cutscene. The graphics are even worse than the stage levels. 
while they don't slow down or run at 10 fps they look like a early sega dreamcast beta just look at these Due to its weakened defense system, Look at those textures. Has been I've seen better graphics from the Sega Saturn. I'm not even making this up. I've seen Sega ba Saturn games Shadow? with better 3D than this right now. The, now? And if you find with the, the voice acting is also kind of crappy all. too. Sir, isn't Shadow on our well, the dialogue a is. He's evil and he's the I know the people who are doing this can act, you can't but... Who wrote this dialogue? It sucks just like the graphics. Afterwards, we get warped to another bad cutscene, featuring shiny models from Heroes, running on the exact same engine. And then we're in the next stage, featuring more forgettable music. Well, actually I forgot to mention, but all the music in this game is forgettable. It's just corny metal stage after stage. And then while the game runs about as fast as a PowerPoint by a little kid, you'll just be slubbering and sliding around, trying to open boxes and find a weapon that's useful and doesn't just spam all over the place. And the homing attack is pretty useless against half the enemies too, because it's just broken. And then... When you're trying to move the camera around to pick up another weapon, you'll find out that not only does the weapon control barely work, but yeah, they're supposed to, you're sup if you're trying to play as neutral or good, they'll still shoot at you. Stop attacking the good guys. No, they're not the good guys when they're trying to kill you. I mean, how would it feel if you played Halo and everyone was shooting at you, Marines and the Covenant? That would just be pointless. No, not just pointless, utterly pointless. Help! We're being sucked in! Please fire the script writers. Thank you. By the way, just like I said, your guys will change all the time in the middle of the level, no matter which side you pick. And by the way, you know how I mentioned about swords having ammo? They use up whenever you hit something, but not when you actually... Well, like I said, not when you actually just whack around. Unlike in Halo... Well, just like in Halo. Man, that's kind of dumb. But after you whip them... In the slowdown, that is. While you're trying to kill them. You'll pick up a weapon. If you can grab it. And you'll find out that... Yeah. Swords have ammo. I just picked up that sword for ammo. I didn't know swords had ammo. Next thing you know... We'll be able to use... A gun as a rocket launcher. Because that is just kind of dumb. The, pillar is rolling this way. the gun system can also be used to break some of the obstacles. Just whack it whenever there's a bunch of boulders coming at ya. Help! We're being sucked in! Help! I'm being killed by this repetitive dialogue! And these slow PowerPoint animations. The next level is even worse. While it runs really slowly, you are forced to see the worst possible helping character of all time, Charmy B. I need to find the chaos. Let's find our top secret sis. I need to find. I need to find the chaos. Seriously, Charmy, you suck dick. Just listen to that. It sounds like shit. Then, you walk through, and guess what you see? Hey, Shadow! I gotta ask no! you! No! Shut up! Shut up! Are you a dumbass? It explains itself in the name. Dumbass. 
Okay, looky here. I'm in the forest of yellow piss. I keep bouncing, but... Oh, shit. The AI broke, and you just pushed the thing I'm supposed to get down. I'm not even on the vehicle. This is bad scripting. I just broke the game. This can't be. This can't be. I just got into a script there. Piece of shit. No. Damn. Not here. Since the game won't let you make several save files, I decided to use my PlayStation 3 to create an internal memory card. I then assigned it to Shao the Hedgehog for a second memory card. It doesn't work that well if you have a real PS2 because you have to get another memory card, but if you have a PS3, it means you don't have to make save files. Because this game only lets you have one save file. Now, for the hero mission. Every hero mission is pretty much the same shit each time. Run around, find the objective. The only problem is, the objectives in this game are pretty broken. So all you'll end up doing is killing yourself once you keep falling off, and you'll also be backtracking a whole lot just to get to an objective and be sure you killed all the aliens in the stage. Looky here, I'm at the very end of the level, and you know what? I have to backtrack. They even designed it so you have to backtrack. That is stupid. I should not have to track the whole level just to find one object. And even when you walk through, they just say scripted lines even though all the enemies are dead. Bad scripting. There's also a horrible multiplayer mode where if you have two PS3 or PS2 controllers, you can get a friend and play it. You shouldn't do this, however, because if you have your friend play this mode, he won't be your friend much longer. What you get to do is you pick a shadow reskin. You can pick your favorite recolor. Two of them actually look like Shadow, and others are just metal reskins that look like Terminator ripoffs. After all, Sega can't make up their own shit. So let's just pick this Shadow. And you can also pick a map. There's only three maps to play as, and they're all pretty much generic jump around maps. I'll pick the top one. They have no names either. So yeah. When the map finally loads, that is, because the load times in this game are horrible, then you can you have you and your friends suffer. No, you're just a fake. Let's see which one of us is the fake then. Oh, look. They're the same. They're just recall. And then. The whole mode is just running around in a horribly done 20 FPS arena, trying to look for weapons and stuff. You can also there are also random enemies you can kill just for weapons and shit. Don't even bother with this mode. Any attempt will run to your friends, ex friends. There's also a second multiplayer mode, which is undocumented, only in the GameCube and PS2 version. You can hook up a second controller and control the other player. Or the other character. They have to be one of the... F pretty much anyone is able to do it, except for Eggman, Black Doom, and Mer And, um, Charmy B. Otherwise, it's kind of boring. It's not on the Xbox version either. So, in other words, it's kind of pointless if you own an Xbox. And now for the final verdict. So, if you want an idea on how bad Shadow the Hedgehog for the PS2, GameCube, and Xbox was, let's just say this. This game happened to kill the Sonic franchise for, for a while. It pretty much told all the fanboys, Guys, your games suck. Please don't buy any more shit from us. But it sold well enough to be a greatest hit game. But then again, I think a lot of people were disappointed when they bought this game. 
So this game so poorly managed to kill the franchise, pretty much. The next game in the series, which I am not going to review and I don't have, I'm not going to review because I don't have it though, Sonic 06 is even worse. Sonic 06 took everything wrong with this game and made it worse. Sure, it didn't have guns, but it had a horrible plot, which was even worse, more glitches, it's pretty much like an extra crappy version of this. Imagine if there was a limited crap edition of this game. It would be it. But, this game, in other words, it just did this to the Sonic franchise. Now, how do you think people like this game? Well, just look on the internet. You'll find 10-year-old kids who think this game's actually good. Just look at this video. <laughs> and then we have, like, Shadow the Hedgehog with guns in a first-person shooter. <laughs> it's like, oh, you see, the game sucked because it wasn't in first-person, and um, you didn't you didn't have kill streaks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but I'm just saying when you have games this bad, it's pretty hard to defend them, especially when they have so many glaring problems. In other words, don't buy this game if you want a better game. Go get like an actual shooter game if you want guns, get a shooter game. If you want guns and platforming, get Ratchet and Clank. If you want if you want a fun game, definitely don't get this game. In other words, garbage. Don't buy this game ever. You can also find this game in your local city dump, so if you wanna get this game, just go back to the back your city dump and hope you find it. Of course you'll regret it once you play it. In other words, Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and please don't buy any more crappy Sonic games if you want Sega to make their games better. Don't buy them. Thank you and have a nice day.